How's it going team? So if you saw my last video, it was about different ways to say yes or I agree in different situations. A lot of people had asked me to make a video about how to say no or how to turn people down. And this is a great skill actually, maybe one of the best skills you will ever have in your life is how to say no to people. Sounds silly, but trust me, once you watch this video, you're gonna understand why. I know in some cultures, it's uncomfortable to be direct and to say no or turn down people, but in American culture, it is perfectly okay to be direct and express exactly what you are thinking, even if it's something that the other person doesn't necessarily want to hear. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn people down politely in a few basic situations. Oh, also, in case you are unfamiliar with the term, oh, please sirens. To turn someone down means to say, I don't want to do something, decline their request, or to say no to something that they ask for. So let's start with the most obvious and interesting one, dating. For example, if a guy asks you out on a date and you're not that interested, but you don't want to hurt his feelings, what do you do? It's okay, just hurt his feelings. It's better to just say simply, no thanks, I'm not interested, but thanks for asking. Yeah, his feelings may be hurt for a second, but He'll get over it, don't worry. Okay, thanks for the ride. Oh, hey, wait, Esther. Um, hey, we had a lot of fun today. Would you want to go out with me? Um, I had a lot of fun too, but I think we're better as friends. Okay. Okay. Right. The important thing is to be nice, but concise. Nice, but concise. And when I say nice but concise, I mean thank them for inviting you, but then say, I'm not really feeling up to it. Thanks for asking, but I'm not interested. Easy, simple, direct. So New Yorkers are really good at this. Hey, you ladies want uh, some tickets to the next? Californians, terrible at this. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Wishy-washy. They beat around the bush. That makes people confused. They're not really sure what you're thinking. Not a good way to respond. If he asks you, do you want to go out on a date? And you say, oh, I don't know, maybe. When really you don't want to go, then he's just confused and then it wastes everyone's time. So don't answer like this. Nice, but concise. Thanks for asking, but I'm not interested. Sorry, thank you anyway. Easy. Or for a regular social situation where your friend may ask you to go to Seattle to travel with them, for example. Maybe you don't really like Seattle, but you don't know what to say because they're your friend and you don't want to hurt their feelings. Again, nice but concise. Hey, thanks for inviting me to Seattle, but I think I'm going to pass this time because I'm not really interested in going to Seattle. Easy. Hey, hey how's it going? What's up? Hey, yes, sir. I got two extra tickets to the Dodgers game. If you want to go to the game. Dodgers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's baseball, right? Uh, yeah, it's baseball. Well, I don't really watch baseball. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, thanks for the invite, though. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. I'll see you later. Alright, yeah. Yeah, they might not be too happy about it. Your friend may be a little disappointed, but I guarantee they'll be much happier that you told them the truth and you were honest, rather than try to make up some weird lie. Like, oh, I have a wedding that day, or my grandma was sick. Don't lie, don't make things up. People don't like that. And especially if you get caught, it's gonna be really, really awkward. So the last situation is at work. So for instance, maybe a coworker will ask you to help them out because they are just slammed and they don't know how to finish everything. So they ask you, can you help me with my report? And in general, if you can help them, you really should just help them. But if you can't, maybe you're really busy or you just don't feel comfortable doing that kind of work for them. Again, nice but concise. So at work, this is called managing expectations. You are helping control what other people will expect from you. If you always say, yes, I can do it, then people will always come back to you and constantly give you things to do, ask you to help them with their work, and then you'll be stressed out and then you'll be miserable and you won't like your job, and then you'll quit and then you'll be all sad and we don't want that. So, this is a good way to manage expectations. Tell them what you can do or what you're willing to do. Hey, I can help you for the next 30 minutes on your report, but then I have to go do my own work. Or you can say something like, hey, I know you're in a difficult situation. Unfortunately, I don't feel comfortable doing that work. 
you're going to have to ask somebody else. Something along those lines. And again, remember, do not lie. It's really important. Tell the truth, but be nice about it. Even if you just don't feel like doing it, it's better to say, I don't feel like doing it. It may not be what people want to hear, but it's the truth and it's simple. And what are they going to do? So here's a summary of the situations that I covered. And listen to what other people say in their responses when they are turning people down or they are saying no to a request. This way you'll get an idea of what kinds of things you should say or not say and it will help you get better at turning people down or managing expectations and help you improve your English. So real quick before you go, I used a few phrases in this video that are very colloquial and I think that are very useful. So I picked them out and did a little quiz for you guys to see if you actually picked them up. All right, well, I guess this video turned out to be a little bit more serious than I thought. I guess it's because it's all about how to say no to people, which is kind of like a sad situation, but it's one of the most important things you're gonna learn, and I hope you got something out of this video and learned some cool new phrases and how to use them in very common situations. If you like this video, obviously hit the like button, subscribe, click the bell, you guys know the drill. Anyway, until next time, peace.